Go, we're, go. We're, we're a little bit better. You we're know. a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> But we are going into the knife round, the flip of the coin. The, um, well, it's, it's not worth too much. Of course, it means you get to pick your favorite side, which I suppose is a little bit of a win. Uh, for anybody wondering about the clip, the, the Smooya Swarm Shot, we will have that coming up after this. I, I think it'd be a bit rude to do it during the map. Just just like throw it in in the middle of the map, just like, you know, we don't want to see this. We want to see Smooya's shot. It, it, we have watched it. Um, He's probably cheating. No, no, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Supposedly, Adrian taught him that one. I'm not sure which Adrian. I imagine uh, it'd be oh. NA Adrian because he was obviously in NA playing Iber Power Masters. Oh, then again, Adrian wasn't at the event, obviously. I don't actually know. Also, I'd he, he's, well, if he's involved with. When I say. Side, maybe he's involved with other Adrian because he's a CIS player. Then again, so when I say Adrian taught it, I'm, he may have. Also, that Adrian is actually. The NA Adrian is actually. An orpa sometimes. Yeah, and so when I, I say Adrian taught him, I don't specifically. I don't know if he. Yeah, well, he makes a lot of videos, doesn't he, he? Yeah, if he just saw it on a video, not actually that he. Uh, <laughs> it was like, okay, let me take your hand, and uh, I'm going to show you. But regardless, we're going to go into this pistol round here. So we have obviously CX on that CT side. Fish actually picking to stay on the T side, which is something yeah statistically makes more sense, but. In terms of actual picks, is quite unusual in comparison. However, maybe they just want to control the pace of this game and go into this one. Uh, obviously, on this T side, straight off the bat, we're going to see two CTs right deep in tunnels. This is aggressive from CEX. Oh, okay. I'm starting things off. It's going to be a quick couple of trades. Can Cryptic find the kill? No, it will in fact be Pickles Weber with another. He's holding the behind, and we have Smooya pushing in with Thomas to try and bring this one back. Smooya already going to grab one, so bringing it back to a possible scenario. Looking at Mole, he still has a little bit of utility to expend, and after the aggression coming out from Mole over towards Long, there is still the potential that he can actually take some positional play. Nice shot from Pickles, though. Going to add another to the list in Cryptics. He's just crouched on sight, waiting for the flash to come out, and there is that utility being expended. Finds a kill, and Fish will be able to get themselves on the board, starting things off nicely with the pistol. Very good start, obviously, after p losing the previous map. They definitely want to come back with a draw here. They don't want to get a loss and then get zero points in mm, terms well of standings. three maps in a row now that they've lost. Exactly. And especially with the fact that, you know, CEX, if they win this best of three, or best of two, sorry, with a 2-0, with a they are going to go above Fish. In the stand -up. That's very, very you know what else is dangerous Brody? He's going to be picking up the first with that pistol. Takes down Pickles. Cryptic's going to be able to trade things out at least, but a bit of team damage on the way, making his job on this movie a little bit easier. But the mid push is going to come out as they back off of this long aggression, but already the CT is starting to push up a little bit. When I'm being cinder, this could be great. Pushed up in tunnels. But he has Mac 10, however, not working out. Why does he put more reloading? That's a question that none of us will ever answer. Fish, though, going to be charging into this B site. It's all going to be on top. He jumps right through to try and deny a, a bomb plant at least, but he's not going to be getting anything out of that one. It's going to be a 2v3 and pretty much guaranteed a round for Fish right now. Yeah, both players coming from the same angle. It's very, very difficult to say this side as it is, but when you don't have any utility, you also have just a Mac-10 and a Scout. It's not really worth it. I'd say probably wait for the next round. Both players actually hold pistols as well, so they could just drop these over and actually have a fight in the third round as well. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Fish will fall away, and it's just going to be... Or not Fish will fall away. They'll win the round. And uh, CEX will fall away. So that's going to be another on the board for them. Cryptic's making a nice amount of cash as well with that MP7. Of course, $600 per kill. And the maths works out to be Hugo. Uh, 1800 <laughs> I tried to put you on the spot. No, I'm fine, I'm fine <laughs> with six times three. It's just I didn't see how many kills he had. So I was like, well, where? where? Well, the round going to fish, obviously a little bit of impact from the CEX guys, but pretty much nothing to be worried about as we will go into a full anti-eco here, I can imagine, with just the save weaponry on the CEX side, and that is literally it. Bit of armor onto Rezu, as he obviously saved, but a scout, a couple of pistols, a MAC-10. I'm not imagining too much will come at this round, but let's see how it goes at least. We do have, obviously, Fish continuing to buy up some rifles alongside their saved weaponry, so they do have a fairly decent buy after winning this round. Well, if that does happen, uh, they will be going for the far full buy again up against the rifles, so they're going to want to have as best... Uh, weapon, I guess you could say, as they, uh, as they want. And fish already charging their way out long. They're going to be making a very uh, known presence here at CEX. They only have one player on that A site. That's going to be Smoothie with a scout. Obviously, no walls here that he can bang, so I don't imagine he'll be too successful if Fish do decide to take this fight. Yeah, this is going to be a lot relying on this scout. Already finding a few tags, though, and leaving them alone, making these pistols ever deadlier by the second. We will see Rezu as well going to be able to push onto short, and they've taken that control back 
with no real flank, it's all going to be from one position, and these pistols may be able to shut this one down. However, the range should be in favor. Weber will find a kill onto an unarmored player. The Glock will find the second as well. However, Rezu's position is one that's quite interesting. Sprays away with the MAC-10, gets the first. The second player is very low on HP, with Cinder finding one more. Cryptix is the savior, though, with Rattlesnake to support as both AKs clean up the round, and they save the weaponry that's important going into that next. Yeah, and this is the buy as well, so CEX fully investing in this one. They could get an open smooth, I can imagine he will go for it. Yep, getting that body armor alongside it. And the flashbang as well, but nothing too massive here. Um, I think he, yeah, no, no, that's fine. Sorry, I got confused. Uh, no, I think he got dropped that. Um, I don't think he had enough for a flashbang, but regardless, we are going to see a fast up pick once again. Fish pushing Rattlesnake straight out. He is going to back off as the Molotovs come in to at least deny his presence. But meanwhile, the rest of Fish setting their sights towards middle and short. They see the aggression in tunnels. Smuya is not going to be able to catch at the angle. At least gets himself some uh, valuable information to at least relay to his team. He backs off towards middle in the meantime. Allows his solar B play to come through, knowing there's only one player down in tunnels and no one else taking any B control. But... You can see this is interesting. He is really just playing a passive mid, which is strange considering he, he knows that fish aren't going for a B take so early on in the round. Yeah, we are waiting for this presence over towards short. We've got a little bit of a spot in long as well, so looking like the potential for an A split is relatively high. Pickles still waiting over towards B, but it's likely that he'll just be the flanker. And in terms of this sort of spot, really we're only looking towards Cinder with any sort of potential to stop players pushing in from short if they are going to go from that direction. I like how he's using the little gap in the box just to actually spot out anybody from mid. It doesn't give him too much vision, but he may be able to spot something out. But in the meantime, we are actually going to see the smokes thrown in over towards middle. He's going to be completely blinded now. It doesn't matter if he can do the jump spot over the box, but can he actually find a different spot? Obviously, we know this one fairly commonly, taking his time actually trying to get up there. But in the meantime, they've rotated back there onto that A site once again. And this time, there really isn't much presence, although they should be able to catch one Rattlesnake snaps. And that's just going to be really difficult now as Rezzle will be dropped as well. And there goes all of that defense other than Cinder. But they knew he was there. They've smoked him out. And that should be it for this round. I feel like CEX really should just fall back, and they will. Yep, no way to they should be taking any fights in this situation. They only have one smoke. They have no kits left as well. I don't even think Smoothie should be trying to get some exits because he economy is not going to be impactful considering fish have three rounds in a row so no point trying to get yourself a kill at this no, point money save screwed weapons. on the others yeah if you if you save these weapons into the next round you may be able to get a bit of a buy but again you know nothing too great that we'll be able to get to drop a couple of rifles maybe famuses and that will be it so full save going to come up from cx safe play as well and actually what's actually to just to just to point out a lo another little you know fun fact is the position that Cinder had with that jumping spot through the box, if you spam jump at the right time as he was and just really, really fast, you don't make any jumping noises. You don't make the constant tap, tap, tap. You just spam it and you're completely silent. Uh, fun fact of the day. But 4-0 here for Fish. Definitely what they needed considering they lost the previous map in quite a heavy fashion. But the issue is with them is obviously CEX are going to be, uh, be buying up into this round. We have the two saved rifles and the AWP and a couple of pistols bought alongside. I'm surprised they didn't actually drop Famuses here. Yeah, they had enough money to. And or Famai, sorry. <laughs> they didn't even invest in too much utility as well. So it definitely could have been a buy coming out from them. But maybe they're saving up for the next round, which would make sense. Yeah, they're they going to get 3,400. So this has, is kind of a half buy. And the next round they're going to have a full buy regardless of what happens. Yeah, we do look towards Cinder and Rattlesnake with a standoff through the smoke. There is a little bit of presence towards middle. Of course, they should know that there's three weapons saved on that CT side. They should know that players were there and, well, make that two. Smuya is going to be dropped by the aggression. The flash works out perfectly. Thomas is going to try and rotate back into position, but by doing so, he leaves the A site open. And you can already see the push making its way forward with Weber onto short. We probably can make a little bit of a timing push. And in terms of the long presence, we only really have... Two players <laughs> boosted on top of each other along. This is so funny. The issue is, obviously, there's no one pushing along. So that one and done spot isn't really going to work out for them. Yeah, it's both pistols as well. Mm. So it's not, not the worst worst case scenario. They are just going to go pushing all the way around as the mid to B tank comes in. Since they're going to start things off, I'm only going to get one. And, well, that should be the end of the round once again. I feel like Thomas may as well just save his rifle. Weber holding the flank as well is going to take another down. Of course, if Prody can finish him off, it would be a rifle, but he's not going to be able to. And you can see once again, CT spawn, not the best place for a save, really. If he tries to cross over, he may get caught out. But you can already see the expansion of map control being taken from Weber as he supposed, well, he basically rotates around onto short. And if he jumps down, that should be the end of Mr. Thomas. 
Indeed, he may be able to hold this angle to at least find himself warm, but Mo gonna spot him out, misses his shot. That's gonna be pretty key. Thomas now has two players to deal with. Gonna be checking the strong angle as well as Weber just flies in like Batman. Fish pick up a fifth round in a row, and they are going to be doing a really good job so far, but Ooh. this is where we get spicy, Tom, because in fact, the other Tom, he's brought up an auto sniper, a DAC DAC. We've got an AWP supporting on Smoothia. Everyone else has got enough. We've got potential for a double AWP or a double auto, but they're going to just play it safe. Five of the rifles, perfect for the retake, and the rest of Fish are going to continue with their typical buy here on this T side, but I really wonder how this auto sniper will work out for Tom on the B side. Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say his name, and he shall fall. Well, this is already looking horrific for the CT side. They've lost two picks very early into the round. We're only 25 seconds gone. Molotov will be thrown out, but that is nigh on useless. I wonder who picked this map. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Fish. Well, I know it's Fish. That's that's the funny part. But uh, regardless, three players left on this CT side. Fish are just going to be playing this very slow. This is similar to the style they had on long in the previous time they played it yesterday uh, up against uh, Kaz. They, they took long control and they just sat there for ages waiting for aggression or... The thing is, they don't even have a lurking player doing anything. Mole is just sitting in lower tunnels because he only has an AWP to play with, and waiting for the aggression. That is literally all they're doing here. So I'm surprised not to see any aggression, really, or any probing from Mole, despite him being low HP. However, he's just holding for the aggression on the CT side, but nothing will be coming through. Sex playing this very, very safely, but let's see how it turns out if they play it far too passively right now, because the push eventually will be coming up towards long. It seems like they will be making that initial play, and for Brody and Smuya, they both do have weapons to hold this one off at a long range, but they have a lot of players to deal with. Smuya is, go oh sorry, Brody is going to be kicking it off with the M4, spraying into the smoke to catch Rattlesnake. Smuya on the side, very aggressive. He cats out the first one, but doesn't re into that same angle. Pickles trades instantly. You should be expecting that play, but a counter boost is looking very likely here from CEX. Yeah, going up. Pickles, oh, he's safe. Weber is ready, and he gets the second as well. Mm -hmm. Bob, so far, this, this has been very, very good, especially Weber. He's looking much, much stronger on this map, starting 8-2, to two, supported by Cryptics as well. And this leaves them 6-0 at the moment. Now, in terms of the money on the CT side, we know for a fact that they do have 3,400 going in, and that does mean that there's a huge likelihood, and we can see it at the moment, that they're going to invest into pistols. So something to play with at least, mostly 5-7. It's not something you see too often. CZs are still pretty popular in the tier 1 scene, but at the moment we're just seeing a spray down. Smooth is going to get one at least with the Deeg. The Cryptics, he's just trying to stop anybody being able to cross over at this point. He grabs one more, and this just leaves Thomas left, no armor, and just waiting to see if he can do anything. Looks like he may actually be saving up to get another auto or something of the sort, because okay. I don't know why you wouldn't buy armor here if you're not going for an AWP or an auto sniper. Potential. I mean, it didn't work last time, but... He's going to have 6,400 in the next round. Yeah, so. and he can drop a rifle as well, meaning uh, it's looking very likely, Tom. It's looking very likely. Let's see what he goes for in the next round, though. Regardless, the round will be going. They, they do finish. say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So auto sniper every round. That's that's the that's a motto for the UK scene, isn't it? No, I thought it was if at first you don't succeed. Disband, disband. Yeah, disband, <laughs> make a new team, <laughs> troll your teammates, get angry. Blame on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to look on the positive side. There is one for CX. Fish were losing 7-0 in the first map, and they brought it... Well, they didn't bring it back, but they no, got... No, they lost. <laughs> how is that, no, they, they, how is they that a positive? They didn't get 16 0 Just because you're getting 7-0 doesn't mean you're going to lose. It was actually at 7-0 <laughs> that Fish actually started to pick up rounds in the previous map. So maybe, just maybe, we may see this oh, work he's out. not going to do it. I think because oh. he saved the AK, he's yeah. not going to buy the auto. Weak move there. We will still have the double AWP. Cinder and Smoo, you're picking it up. Interesting combo. Regardless, they are losing 7 0, so I'm not going to look deeply into anything here. And Mole, gonna catch one out in the middle. Okay, Smoo, Little bit of aggression. This is an interesting push. Players have just walked straight past oh them. They're going to be able to come in from behind Thomas. There we go. He's on the board. Gets himself two kills, but the B site has been lost. It is a three versus five, however. There's quite a bit of utility to play with. They don't need to challenge us right now. If anything, the bomb going down means absolutely nothing at this stage because you look at how much money there is on the T side. They don't need this bomb plant. All this really does, okay, four grand across. It's quite nice to have that little bit of extra money. Just look at this CT retake. 
There are four people going right. into tunnels, but already Pickles, like he'll this. pick up two headshots. This is looking a little bit more possible at the moment. They know exactly where these players are as well. Only one man on the other side of things. That's going to be Thomas, and Rattlesnake is going to try and take him out. That flash does not help him at all. And Thomas, can he clean things up? No, he can't. Mole still grabs one more. Looking for the AWP, <gasps> gets a second as well. Maybe there's an opportunity. It's oh my God! <laughs> and he gets the no scope. Mole, what a round. And what a throwaway from CEX. Massive performance. That's from that's Mo. that's what you get. That's what that's called style points. Yeah, that's uh, that's called an eight zero as well, right? The round that CEX should have had the four v two, bombs not even down. They're rushing into the site preemptively. No need really to to commit that hard. But regardless, they give away the round. And now Tom, now things are starting to look even more scary than normal because. Well, yeah, that one has to hurt. Like, if, yeah. if you were, weren't hurting before, you get the first couple of kills. Your player who hadn't fragged yet gets onto the board. He picks up two. You get a little bit of luck because they try and run past you in the smoke. And then that happens. You lose two players from a swift couple of headshots that come out over towards the tunnel's position. And then, well, Mole just absolutely styles the last few. So, 8-0. to zero. We do have a buyback on the board. The extra money that Thomas had made in the previous couple of rounds will be going to Smuya with that AWP. He'll be stuck down to a Famous, and you already look at their utility. It's getting pretty low. They have four flashbangs. The final smoke will be dismembered. Not dismembered? Just thrown. It'll be thrown. I'm giving up on fancy words. No, don't bother. It's like maths. English is pointless in casting. But this time... <laughs> We're running down a lot of the time without any significant impact or map control gain from Fish. They haven't secured pretty much anything they here. They just need headshots. Yeah, at least something will be found as Pickles able to trade out that first kill from Rezu. And now they start their push up long with 30 seconds left. They could get something done here, especially with a, uh, a lack of control on the A site, but the fast rotations are going to be coming in. Pickles attempting to lead things up, does catch out Grotty. Very, very exposed. They're not too sure why he's sitting in that position. Seems to just trade things out, but Pickles following Ooh. up with two more smoother trades. So he just needs and now it is going to be the 1v3 that he needs to pull out to win this round. Bomb's going down the site. If he jump shots this, I'm going to cry. Oh. This is it. Molotov forcing him back Thank as well, you, waiting for the right angle, but nothing's going to be presenting himself. He just backed off, it seems. Nope. Flash goes in again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. The peeks Ooh. in for another. Weber goes down. There's still Mole. The 1v1 again this time with same Nothing. players, but Mole going to be able to get the edge out all the around for Fish, and a 9 0 going to be secured here for this T side. Yeah, this is getting a little bit bleak at this stage. I wonder if CEX should be looking for that pause. They've now lost nine rounds on the trot. Yes, some of them have been close. We talk about the last few. Well, the last two, in fact, have literally just been mole left standing. But different rounds, to say the least. Either way, it will be pistols once again for the CT side. And the push coming in towards B. It is slowed down by the smoke. They still have a small amount of utility to play with. Whereas on the T side, well, we already know they have everything they desire. Pretty much. Weber tapping down another down middle. Finally, something's going to start to look bright here for CEX as two more kills are found in rebuttal. But these two pistol players are going to be very tagged up. Thomas and Rezu, 20 HP and 8 HP. Mm, they do get an AWP. So it, it wasn't a bad sort of trade for them at this stage, especially considering they're pushing down long and there's potential for that AWP to catch the cross, especially when you see that gap in a smoke. However, Smoothie is dead, so we don't have the, the AWP king here for the CEX side. But however, you are correct. I, I believe in Simba. Yeah, let's see how it works. The second AWP so far. I wonder if he's named after the blocks. Shut up. Fish so pushing up long here. They have a smoke for spawn. I'd like to think they would use it, but that would make a lot of sense. And I don't think this. Oh game's no! I don't believe anyway. anymore. No, Brody going to be peeking out. They don't even try and re-smoke it. He just takes the fight. How is he succeeding? Finally, the trade from Weber. He's on two kills already. Looking for a third. There's Rezu on the site. He sees the head. Takes it as well. Now it's all onto Thomas and Cinder here, trying to bring it back from a two v two. The bombs actually dropped in position towards this ramp. He can grab it safely, and Cinder's not even taking that fight. Just waiting for the long cross. But with a long bomb plant coming out, this is perfect for Weber. He can just back off, but he's got to worry about the stake in the grass and that will be Thomas though it's not an issue for Webber he takes another no scope Ooh. comes out he hits a shot but it's only going to be the tag pistol in his hand he takes a kill onto Rattlesnake as well and Cinder he just needs to find Webber as he just hides towards the back along bait peeking with his knife out Cinder makes his way to the site he doesn't kit. have a kit 
or any utility. He doesn't know where Weber is either. He needs to get on that bomb very, very shortly. He finally taps it, but Weber's not going to be falling for any kind of bait, waiting for the right angle. He walks into it, he misses a shot. That's huge. Tries again, but he's not going to hit it. And now fully committing to the bomb part, the bomb defusal. There's just no time left. Weber's going to commit to the fight. Oh. He takes it, but the save will come through. As there's just simply no time left. That will be the round to fish. So 10-0 is a 16-0 inbound top. They even, they even kill everyone. That, that's the worst thing. They kill everyone in that round. That was just pistols invested. It's a whole lot of close rounds. This seems to be the way Fish do things. They, they win a lot of close rounds, but they've still got plenty of money. Mole, well, he's got five kills, but he's only got three deaths at the moment. And, well, you look at some of those kills, absolutely ridiculous. Either way, we are going to see him with 16k. Producer has... Oh, just as bad puns as I do, it seems. Yeah. They're just taking the piss, all, apparently. That's a terrible joke. Thank you. For that. Fired. Fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, me or him? Me both. for insulting the joke or him for making it? Probably both, yeah. But Weber, he's going to be kicking things off finally. Does manage to take down Tom. Oh. It will be, the <laughs> will be the man advantage for Fish here as they pretty much get yeah, given the B side. The, the only issue is Mole's still in T spawn with the bomb, so the bomb pump won't be down, going down yet. But you can see already CEX throwing in the towel. They're not even committing to this one. They're like, yep, we've lost a round. Bring on the 11 0. Let's just hold for exits. Bring on the wall. Trump is inbound. The bomb finally going to make its way to the site as well, but yeah, CEX, they've completely given up with this one. Yep. Does have to wait for the cross. Okay, now the round's done. That, that was it. That was it. Just in case there was anybody watching from T-Spawn through four walls. I've already seen a wall bang that I didn't know was physically possible, so never mind. Smooya, yeah, I don't think he can hit anything from here. There's a few buildings in the way. But then again, just Valve things. It's still a possibility. They are just going to save this one. Uh, the worrying thing is, it, I don't know about you, Hugo, but I didn't realize we were playing Nuke. It, it's just, it shouldn't be like this. It, it is ridiculous that they're now going to be... 11 nil up, and even if the final four go the way of CEX, the likelihood of them bringing it back is pretty slim. It would have to be some huge mistakes coming in from Fish, oh, but then I again, like I that. suppose anything you can do on one side, I, sp I guess you can do on the other. Doesn't mean you will. <laughs> no, it, it definitely doesn't mean you will. The 1-1's one one looking ever more likely at this stage. I don't know how Fish can reset so well. I, d I don't want to start BMing, but like in, the, in a scene where typically you lose a map and a lot of players do get that tilt, they do get upset about it, and it's a very emotional players, you know, um, that can impact their performance quite a lot. And we see that very often as well. So I'm surprised Fish would come back after a 16-8 loss on the previous map on Train to come back to an 11-0 win. This could be a 16-0. I'd like to think it would be because that would be far more entertaining. But... Even so, this is just dominant from the T side. However, Brody, he's pushed up towards long. They haven't spotted him out yet, and he's going to have a great angle to catch up. The first pickle gets dropped. He's going to be able to get a flash in from his teammate as well. Smuya supports Molotov working Ooh. out wonders, and it forces out another player, allowing Smuya to take the bait. It's all onto Mole. Rip the 16 0 dream. Why did I even call it? Yeah. Yeah. Blame Hugo. Hashtag. Look at that trending. <laughs> Good luck. Maybe trading in Basingstoke. Either way, one man standing. It will be Mole. We've seen him do some crazy things so far in this game, but Smuya denies on one HP. Three kills for him. It will be the 16-0 dream ruined by Hugo, and we will be going into the next round with a buy, of course. Mole with plenty of cash to play with. Same for Cryptics and Weber even. So well, I suppose that normally happens when you win 11 rounds in a row. Very difficult. However, a reset is looking more and more likely now as obviously the money, I, I don't think I need to say it, but it isn't. Very low on the fish side. They've got pretty much maxed out. So they're going to be okay here. We are going to see just CEX try and bring it back to a 211 to at least keep up this CT side economy. But I don't see it happening too much. Although, as I say, that's Moody dropping the bomb. That's Mole going down in tunnels. The orb are out here for fish. As Mole's been predominantly picking up that Aiden P instead of Rattlesnake per usual. So at least it's going to start it off with a good round. But can they converge and can they continue on this streak? That's the question. Yeah, a streak of two. But yeah, Snake, he is going to be set up to entry onto the site. Finds the first. You do have Cinder with the oh. AWP. This is the perfect position to be in. There's no smoke down. Misses the second, but is able to fall back. However, the bomb is going to be rotating in. Nice spot currently being held by Thomas, who is going to go pushing through the smoke. Hasn't been caught just yet. Looks for the heads. Cryptics will trade, and that's going to be back to 3v3. Bomb going down. Smooth is in a bit of an interesting position here. Jump shot. Potential. Not going to hit it, though. Tries to repeat. Just positioning towards his box. Waiting for his teammates to come support him from long. And they will do so. This is nice play from Smooth. At least not pushing a bit too preemptively. But finally, 
They will regroup and make this initial. Oh, so the close. wall bang so heavy, but Pick Pickles, he still lands a shot. Rezu tries to trade, and he does actually get the refrag onto Weber, but there's still one more towards the back. He goes Pickles again, two kills. He almost picks up three, but Sinden's going to trade. Grabs will himself the aid of a P, but the bomb's on the other side of the wall. He has to check this spot. Doesn't go for it. He just hits a wall bang. No, Cryptics is there, though. Pistol's out. He's chasing it, and he hits it as well. CEX, they takes two rounds on the board, and that is going to be uh, obviously the reset from Fish denied. Yeah, he went for the get right shot. Yeah. Didn't quite manage to pull that one off, so we'll just go for the 5-7 play instead. And well, looking at the economy, both teams going to be coming up with a full buy. Cinder will be able to get the secondary or pin play as well. So not too bad overall in terms of the economy. If they win this one, they may even be able to do some real damage to well, the fish side of things. But it's looking like they're going for a much faster play already, going straight over towards the B side, but the Molotov will deny them any real presence early on. They've thrown a lot of utility. Smuya has also been tagged down mid, which isn't going to help things out anymore. But at the same time, a little bit of damage done onto Cryptix, who was close to the flames. Indeed. So let's see how this round goes, at least for Fish, if they can start to bring it back in their favour for the last couple of the half. But if they couldn't, if CX can pick up 4, 11 and a half, while it's not a good half, it's far better than the prospect was looking far earlier on. However, Rattlesnake oh. wasn't denied that. He drops into CT spawn, takes down Brody. We do see Sinder trading things back up with the smoke going out towards the middle B angle just to maybe force a rotation. However, they're not committing to it here. Just positioning our players towards short flashes and smoke going down. Cinder's fully blind. He has to back off. Three peeks in, though. Drops a bomb. Cryptics gets found. And now they're going to just start to fall one by one. Cinder, he's taken two. Weber attempts to get a refrag. He will do so, in fact. And Cinder backing off towards long just to deny this exit. Oh, look at this though. Just one by one. It's all on mole. What? He misses. He follows. One more on long. Goes through it as well, but not going to be able to connect. The bomb needs to go down here. Yes, Muya's position. Oh, he's going to spot the head. Misses the shot, however, and gets traded instantly. Mole managing to find one more, so maybe this is just possible. But look at the position. Cinder has read this perfectly, catches him out, and that will be 11-3. to three. Nice read coming out from Cinder in the end. He gets the ace, and that will be another round on the board for CEX. And Bly is going to come in, of course, because it's the last round, but it isn't a particularly good one. It's not that bad either, though. Rattlesnake will have to fall down to a deeg. Could be worse. They could be 311. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that is definitely true. Yeah, so it's going to be okay in the in the grand scheme of things. I don't think it matters. But maybe they will just take it. Whether it's all about momentum. Along. Yeah. Rezu trades things out with Devil. Oh, sorry, not Devil. I just read that. Cinder. Takes down Pickles in the meantime. He's down to 3v4 here. Cryptic's going to be tagging down. Not able to hit the shot. Finally, the headshot comes in. But Smooth is right and ready in position. Tries to refrag for his fallen teammate. The D's in the hand of Rattlesnake. He's oh, bringing the fight no. to him. Takes down Smooth. One more and long to find it well. And Rezu's going to be pushing his way up the nade. Denying this plant. And Rattlesnake, he has no idea where he's coming from. Rattlesnake, what are you doing? He just goes down and Thomas cleans it up as well. <laughs> CEX pick up the round in ridiculous fashion as well. That will be the half. I'm not sure what I'm more worried about, the fact that Rattlesnake didn't notice or the fact that it took Rezu so <laughs> long to actually kill him, even though he was just strafing. And I'm pretty sure the only person who was through that smoke was Rattlesnake's own teammate. <laughs> so there's absolutely no reason no. for him to look in that direction. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's still a good half coming out from Fish. Could have been better. Could have even gone 15-0, but it didn't. And now there's still a lifeline for the CEX side to play with. They need to get this pissed around, however, otherwise it will just be back on that train of destruction for the fish side. And at the moment, the T's, well, they've taken tunnels control. Looking like Mole tempted to go aggressive towards mid. Of course, he does have the USP, which gives him quite an advantage. We will see the smoke fall onto Xbox, but nothing just yet. Rattlesnake so close to finding that pick. He's not going to be allowed, though. We do see CEX start to make their push towards the middle area as well. Not fully committing just yet, but the flash going through. Body clearing these angles. There's nothing there for him to find. The smoke does go down in the meantime, but Weber is going to be in the angle of the window trying to spot these players out. They're pushing up aggressively towards him. Lots of dinks through the box, but he finally lands one. Body goes down, and now the full push coming through. He takes oh. down a second as well. More through tunnels. Mole's not going to be able to do anything. It's all onto Weber here. He takes himself a third. Reload in time as well. And these CTs just decimate CEX here. Four players left standing. And what a round to kick it off on the second half. Rezu's called a pause. 
Oh no, never mind. They've, they've changed their mind, so I'm not going to be coming in. I, I would, I would say, if I was in their position, I'm not sure I would bother. Just because they're so far down, they should have done it earlier. They're coming in with a weaker buy anyway. This is the sort of fish way though. They bought up just SMGs, or was, no, was it, this wasn't them yesterday. It was somebody else. I can't remember. Either way, they've gone for a very risky buy, but it looks like it's working out so far. Picking up the first couple of kills, they really want to make those SMGs work. Rezu is going to catch one, so trading it back at least a little bit closer. And they do have the chance to catch Pickles, but he is just going to throw a smoke down, play it safe, and not go for anything over-aggressive. And, well, Thomas has picked up an MP9, so that should be the round going the other way, right? <laughs> Got tier weapon, but there is an MP9 on either team, that's the thing. Oh, does so it balance it out? It does, and, you know, we don't have a Nova on either side to, to give a great advantage, but we can make the assumption that because Mole has two flashbangs, that we are going to see Fish win this one. Because he's got, he's far better equipped, being a primary MP9 player. Oh, Thomas dropped it. He's wrong. <laughs> what a shame. He's wrong. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he didn't even give it to a teammate either. Poor, they were just poor, like, "No, nah, we don't want guy. it." Poor guy. He just doesn't know how to play. There we go. Rezu picks it up. He knows what he's doing. But the short push is going to come through here for CEX Mole. It's biding his time very cleverly. So the MP9 giving him the intelligence to play this one safely. Weber is holding on to the A site. Great work from him. The flash comes in, but they don't capitalize oh, on it at all, and just decimation again. Much as was the pistol round. Fish keep four players and CEX find pretty much nothing here. The full eco is looming over their heads. Yeah, this is, this is sort of the point of no return either way. If they don't buy here, they're, they're going to fight with nothing and then go into the next round with at least a buy. And then they have to win 10 rounds in a row to get back. Now, we did actually see that happen yesterday. Well, it wasn't 10, it was 9. And it should have been 10, but it didn't happen. So I suppose I can't really say it did. Mm. But uh, it is definitely possible. I'm not really feeling it at the moment, though. We've seen like a lot of very quiet players. Smooth on this map as well. You'd, I expected a little bit more. And... They've thrown away a couple of rounds as well. For example, the two entry kills coming in, the B site falling, and just oh. losing a five versus three retake, which wasn't particularly good. Bomb down as well isn't going to help anything out. Rattlesnake actually with a glass cannon orb. Quite risky going into a round where you know you're only up against pistols. Typically, you should just see him stay with a pistol, just not buy for an orb alongside mm. it. And buy an orb it's probably because they expected a force to come in. Maybe, he, 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 did he like turn his sensitivity up there? He was just <laughs> spinning around. But there wouldn't be much need for a force in this, uh, uh, you know, because knowing that, yeah, give away to 14 rounds and then go for the buy would be the safe one instead of mm. forcing up unnecessarily. But, I mean, it could have gone either it way. It makes a difference in the yeah, MP yeah. stores is open. They're still cares? on four rounds. It will be a couple coming up for a couple of rifles coming up for the CT side, but they stick with the SMGs. It will be the entry coming out from Cinder. But it's a quick trade. Cryptic's still able to finish him off, and a lot of damage already done to this T side, mainly on Rezu, who's on 38 oh my HP. God. Smoothie, though. His angle is great. If he catches that rattlesnake, absolutely none the wiser. Cryptic's still on long. He's down to 20, and oh no, Smoothie, he's grabbed the cannon that he's so famous with. He on the AWP now, and Cryptic's going to try and take him down, but meanwhile, the rest of CEX taking this control on short, and the bomb's going to be going down for that exact position here as they get into their post plants already pushing away. Cryptic has to wait for his teammates to join him. Smuya going to spot out the angle. What a shot as well. Takes him down, and now 2v3 retake is on. I'd like to just see a, just a rush back to the side. Not a whole lot to do, but maybe Weber can catch one. He does, but again, traded. It's all on Mole, and up against an orphan long. I've not got a whole lot of hope. Yeah, if he can take this kill, there is an opportunity, but it's not going to happen. Should be a buy still coming back up, mainly off the back of Weber and Mole having a lot of cash to actually spread around. They could get AWPs if necessary. And why? If this round is lost by CEX, they are done. I, I don't think there's any other hope if they are to lose this one. We will see Rattlesnake getting that AWP. They've actually overbought. I think there's a spare weapon in the spawn at the moment. I may be wrong. I can go and have a look, but I'm pretty sure that they made a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, extra FAMAS. Money, money, money. And Weber's on that uh, UMP instead of it. But again, that's an argue. you can argue both points for that. Uh, UMP's not actually bad. Well, mainly main just because you can run with it. That, that's yeah. always going to help you out. Especially playing a close angle on B as well. So Understandable at least, but Rattlesnake is going to be kicking things off on the right footing. Mole has been picking up the AWP primarily for this map. Mm. Uh, obviously, Rattlesnake was the open. I, I think map, that's just T side. I think Mole's just good at the T side of Dust 2, so they just let him have it. Yeah. I think we saw that yesterday as well. That is true, actually. I think. So, obviously, putting it back into the hands of the caller for fish. They are calling, that is. We never know. This is a mixed team. But, mm. regardless. Well, their, their call is get headshots, win game. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Whoops. 
He's dying. I am. <laughs> did, did you almost sneeze the mic out? I sneezed the <laughs> mic out. I'm, pro I'm, probably, I'm probably cut off now, you never know. But <laughs> um, rip. Okay, so our game has just crashed. We're hopefully going to be I jumping. I can still see it. Yeah, we so can still see it on the other monitor, but it's it's crashed. So <laughs> hopefully we'll be jumping My back into it. My observer monitor doesn't look so bad now, does it? I don't <laughs> know. Are we, are we still broadcasting? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, that's all good. It is going to be the game coming back up as well, so I, I have my short-lived time in the light. We will see a split coming in, but actually, no, it's not a split. It's just a straight rush mid, and this is very, very risky. Weber with the flash. It blinds both. Oh He's going to get God. both as well. We were wondering whether or not he should have picked up that Famas. I don't think he should have done now. He picks up a double, gets the AK in return, and that's going to be the 15-5. Money is screwed for CEX, and they're going to have to try and fight this one back. Indeed. And with the reset as well, that did cause, obviously, the money loss that uh, the CX are experiencing now. So Molt, he's going to be peeking out middle, very aggressive, I can imagine, because, again, they are only up against mainly pistols here, so that is understandable here. Ooh. Rattlesnake, nice shot down middle, going to catch out Smuya. And man advantage, already going to be found in the way of fish. <laughs> yeah, I think Smuya, he said it's done. Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat in agreement with him. It's not looking too good at this stage, although I don't think that helps your team out anymore playing into this round. Thomas is going to look. If he hits this shot, okay, they brought it back to a four versus four. They still have a much weaker buy overall, and the bomb still sat all the way back towards the spawn. Not really making too much of a move. Mole is going to be up close. Pickles is going to be that sort of bait. Thomas gets tagged heavily by that nade. That won't help them out anymore. Utility's not too bad. Maybe Cinder can try and use it, utilize it well, but it doesn't really seem like they're learning too much from their pushes. They're going to be rotating back towards this long position. There is one man already pushed further aggressive. Now, this spot should be good for one or two, but if it gets more than that, then they have made a big mistake. Cryptic, so uh, I'm scared they won't check this. That's the thing, because it's a, a bit of a far out position. They won't, but actually Rezu flips in time. He takes a headshot, grabs himself an M4, and now things are starting to look a little bit brighter here for the CEX side. Fish do have this flash oh, player pickles. He's going to decimate so the nice. teams. Two kills. Rezu trades, but it's still into a uh, 2v2 here and with Weber taking one down. And Middle Mole is going to follow up as well. 16 to 5 for Fish. A complete opposite, polar opposite, in fact, of the previous map, going 16 8 on training the way of CEX. So what a great map there for Fish to bring it back. And